Hachiba Daimani is the definition of resilience. The lion's hard man went against his father's wishes to play the sport he loves and went through three provinces, five schools and countless hardships. At only 21 years of age, we are certain he'll be adding Springbok cap to his resume in the very near future. Hachiba Daimani, ladies and gents. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's so good to have you. Uh, thank you very much for having me, guys. Achiever. Am I saying it correctly? Very Achiever. interesting. So it's Achiever with Achiever. an H. Achiever. With an H. Okay, so say it properly for me. Achiever. 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 What does it mean? So, okay, let me just cut it together. So, um, basically, it's actually Hebrew uh -huh. and Kosa. So the Kosa side, my mom actually gave me Bumalelo, okay. which means to achieve. Sure. And my dad gave me um, Akiva, which means to protect. In okay. Hebrew. Okay. And since we're not married, they obviously said, listen, we have to come with a name that, you know, just bring it together. Yeah. And they came with Achiva. So you come from a very mixed and interesting family, Jewish, Kosa. And Nigerian. And Nigerian. Oh. That is amazing. <laughs> and then South Africa, growing up, you decided you wanted to play rugby against a lot of your family members' wishes. What happened? Yeah, so I actually grew up from, I'm actually from Cape Town. Mm -hmm. Born in Cape Town, moved to Eastern Cape. Um, I was a big soccer fan, wanted to play soccer. Sure. Um, the school I went to never had soccer and only had rugby. So obviously played there. My grandmother sent me to my dad. Then my dad was like, listen, um, since we're Jewish, no one plays um, rugby on a Saturday. Yes. You know, and so I had to do boxing during the week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And eventually I was like, I hate boxing, you know, I hate being beaten up. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that pretty face. <laughs> Gotta keep it clean. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, listen, um, I have extra lessons. So I kept on lying. I said extra lessons, extra lessons. But I actually, I actually went to training. Mm -hmm. And eventually I became good at it. And then the coach was like, listen, you need to come and um, come for trials. And my dad never knew he traveled. And eventually I got a scholarship to go to JP. Mm. And when he, when he found out, it was too late. But you got a scholarship anyway. Who's going to turn down <laughs> a scholarship, right? That's amazing. Yeah. And was rugby always something you knew you wanted to do when you started playing? No, actually, I actually wanted to be a soccer I, soccer player. I thought I wanted to play for Bafana Bafana. Mm -hmm. um, I had dreams of being the South African goalkeeper and that never happened <laughs> and today i'm a rugby player that's amazing <laughs> Just, yeah go for it talk us through the curry cup i mean you guys are through to the final how has the experience been and what are your emotions as well as everyone else in camp what are they going through knowing that you guys are going to play this year's final yo it's actually this year's been very tough for us because we have a very very young side and you know we had ups and downs we lost like two games um we Basically, we won every game up like with two points or one point, and I call it a smash and grab. <laughs> <laughs> and for us to actually make it to the final, you know, it's actually a big thing for us because, like, um, a lot of the guys, you know, they say first curry cup, and we're very excited to be here, and we just want to give it our all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 